In this video, we'll cover adding depth of field, also known as focal blur, to your renderings. The depth of field works in perspective and most rendering techniques. As I switch over, in this physically based perspective view, I have the depth of field enabled. Let's take a look at the settings. Under the Edit Active View, on the camera panel, down midway, in the depth of field area, there is a check mark enabling it. By using the Help button and then scrolling down, it defines the F stop with a lower value increasing the blur and a higher value reducing the blur. And then the focus distance, at which point the blur will begin to take effect. And then at the top are the rendering techniques that support focal blur. When I turn off the depth of field, the rendering removes all of the focal blur and it's now clear. Let me switch over and open up an interior rendering of a kitchen. To add focal blur into this rendering, I'll enable it underneath the Edit Active View and enter a value for the f-stop of 2.5. When I close the dialog, you can now see the added blur into the scene. The blur will continue as I rotate the camera around the specific object in focus. Depth of field can also be adjusted back in the floor plan view using the focal point found at the end of the camera. The depth of field is simply a setting. You can toggle it on and off for your renderings to create just the look you desire. To learn more, please see our other videos, our knowledge base, or the built-in help. Thanks for watching.